people welcome to journey with Shar. how are you guys doing this beautiful thursday today is what what is today is it friday are you sure mm -hmm. mom is it thursday or friday, it's friday. really y'all she gone <laughs> i thought it was thursday that's a concern of mine is to be a day behind anyway welcome to journey with Shar. how are you guys doing this beautiful friday I pray and hope everything is okay in your neck of the woods. You guys, um, it is starting to get a little dark. I see the time changing. It's 728 and it's, look at that. It's starting to get a little dark. Whereas for for uh, probably about a, three weeks ago, this was still light. So I'm really excited about that. Time changing. Back. And it's so funny because you guys do the same thing I do whenever it comes around summers coming up i'm like when is the time gonna change so that it can stay light later and now the fall is coming i'm like when is the time gonna change so it can get dark and cozy anyway you guys so i'm excited about fall very excited about fall coming um hopefully california give us a break with this heat y'all it was a 107 this week 105 this week 101 oh y'all we were in three digits all this week and we're dealing with the fires it is just crazy not in my areas but even though you know it's up north and other places you guys and near san diego i do believe somewhere in orange county or san diego i do believe y'all we just gotta pray, pray for these people pray for these firefighters that are fighting these fires y'all it's so dangerous we've lost i know a, a couple of firefighters and so that's really really sad but anyway you guys i pray all is going well like i said in your neck of the woods i am so sorry i have not been putting videos out y'all um at you know during this time school starts back elementary but i don't have any elementary students my son is a college graduate so he's done with school um unless he decides to go back for some um reason but uh i work at a university so i am getting ready for the students coming back um and my our school starts in august and uh the students are beginning probably in about the next week and a half or two they're beginning to come back we have to get ready for new student orientation and we're going to be getting a lot of calls about that and um new students coming in you guys and you know the parents i was that mom i remember dropping my son off at his dorm and just like and he was like would you please go home, mama go <laughs> y'all but i was and i was just a hot mess my son was like yeah deuces <laughs> But anyway, um, and it was so cute, you guys. You know I love Reed Drummond. Just have to say something. I saw her on Instagram. Her son is already at a university. I cannot believe him kids grad has grown that much. And she was dropping her son off. Had the sunglasses on like every mama does. Tears coming under the sunglasses. Because you were just like, oh, my baby is growing up. They're going to the next level in life. And so, congratulations to you, Reed. That's what, your second kid, your second child going off to a university i believe it is congratulations but anyway and also to all of you other parents followers uh, i don't like to call you followers um my family other family members and um, viewers you guys um those of you your babies are going off to college this is their first year or they're returning god bless those babies i pray to god bless them to have a blessed prosperous year they have good grades and they're productive and they're learning just pray and even those of you who are sending your babies off to elementary kindergarten i was looking at one of my favorite youtubers and she was sending her baby off to kindergarten he started yesterday oh my gosh she was a hot mess her and her husband it was just the cutest thing I, I it just reminded me of my son when he was young going school shopping for him and getting his backpack and having to go to the school the uh a, a day before just to see who's his teacher and you know go to his classroom and see where where he he'll be sitting and that i just missed that my son is 28 now so child has been a long time for me but looking forward to grandbabies and when he gets married and all that stuff i will be there and present y'all but anyway so yes yeah, so god bless you those of you some of you guys already have started school your kids have already started school congratulations you know educate 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 and so uh pray that they have a blessed year anyway you guys so like i said i'm so sorry that i have not been putting videos out um as the school gets back in session and everything calms down i'm gonna try to put at least uh two videos up a week 
uh pray i can do more than that but you guys just hold on with me until everything gets settled then i'll be putting more videos up because y'all know what the holidays are coming fall and just all the holidays it's just so exciting um and my favorite time of year um so anyway you guys right now we're headed to um i gotta renew my costco card y'all forgot about that i gotta go renew my costco card and then um gotta go do some grocery shopping um, probably gonna head to Trader Joe's and just take y'all with me so y'all just enjoy this ride, okay? Oh, let's try Cheerio. some of those shredded wheats right there. Those shredded wheats. Let's try some of those. Yeah. High protein peanut butter chocolate chip. Hmm. Let's see what's on there. Sugars. It's still 14 grams of sugars way too much sugar. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's 14 grams. Let's see what's on this one. Should we bring all the bars? That's only 8 grams of sugar. That's not that bad. Raisins. Bar. Hmm, that's not that bad. It's only 8 grams of sugar. What's this? That's a chewy granola bar. That one's good. How much sugar is in this one? It's 11 grams of sugar. Which one do we usually get? Let's see what is this one? Oh, high protein, gluten free, low G, right. zero sugar. So let's try that one. I'm gonna see if I like that. Yeah. Bean burrito. I think I'm gonna put the other one back I got and get this one because this is only 490 grams and milligrams of uh, sodium. It's not that bad. I think I'm gonna get that one. Your chicken pot pie? Not time for that, but mmm, no more. Ma, did you want any corn? Oh, I'm gonna get some mac and cheese. So bitches. Ooh, this got chilies in it, y'all. I bet you that one's good. Three grams, more than 30 milligrams of sodium. Reduced. Reduced. So let's see. The reduced guilt feels really reduced. 540 milligrams of sodium. Let's see this one. 590, but it won't be just me eating this. I think I'm gonna try some of that. Sometimes I'm in the mood for just having mac and cheese. Look at this turkey going in. Mmm. Ma, you see anything else you want? Try something new? Stop, Joshua. Sweet potato gnocchi. Mmm. What's in here? Ma, you see that? Sweet potato gnocchi. Sweet potatoes, wheat flour, potato water, butter, milk, eggs, sunflower. Okay. You want to try this one? Ooh, that looks good. Organo pesto tortellini. Mmm. How much sodium is in it? Four grams of protein. Three yeast. Ricotta cheese, organic garlic. Okay, hold on. Cause I know what you're trying to do. Yeah, you have to wait. You see him, how he's trying to get away? Now look at this linguine and thing. Did you like that fettuccine that we had that time? Mm -hmm. This one's with mushrooms, it's not with meat. Mm. You did? Do you see it? I don't see it. Ooh, that looks good. Tomato and pesto. So this one's margarita. That one. Oh my, look at this one. This looks new. You see a pepperoni? And how much sodium is in this bad boy? Where's the sodium can? Oh, here it goes. Did you like that one? The one with the, um... Did you like this one? Remember we had it the other day? This one? Uh, you like that one? This one's cheese, gluten free. Hmm, look at these. Let's see what's up there. Maggio, Fabina. 
Yeah, after that one Friday night. Did you want, I did not like those. You guys was not a fan of these. I had to doctor that up myself, do some egg whites. So I wasn't a fan of those. They had multi-grain waffles. The multi-grain waffles? You like those? Oh, Belgium. Look, these are multi-grain and then these are the gluten-free. You want to try the multi-grain? Yeah. Yeah, those look good. Ooh, blueberries. They sure are. But we have some blueberries at home. Yeah. Who is this? Well, Y'all know it's National S'mores Day. What is this? Cowboy dark chocolate with toffee pretzels. Ooh, this has got too much. Any of the sugar? Can't do that. Nutty, sweet, crunchy nuts, smooth, dark chocolate, and in the floor to sell. <sighs> okay, so let's go on around here. I'm just showing y'all some of the stuff that I can't get that looks good still. I don't know. Ooh, this looks delicious. Should we get another syrup? Look at that, dog. Yeah. Ooh, that looks sinful. It's not that fattening, neither. Why well, you see this? What's that? Swiss cheese with flaky croissant. Okay, with ham in it though. No ham. Too bad. Why don't they have turkey option? Ma, you want any sweet potatoes? You remember the garlic potatoes though? It was some garlic fries. What were they? I don't remember the garlic fries. Did you like these? So, Didn't we have those? Yeah, that's what I was asking you if you like. I you usually cut mine up onion. myself, though. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the potatoes. But they are delicious. Ooh, look at that cauliflower. Look at the organ. Oh, let's try this cauliflower. You want to try that one? Yeah, I was going to try Yeah, let's try that one. Okay, what else do we see here? You see any other vegetable you want that's frozen? I know we got regular ones at home. Ooh, what is this Jojo? That one's chocolate with, um, what you call it? Oh, did you want to get some veggie burgers? Why, well, you not feeling a veggie burger? What, you don't have to get some veggie burgers. Ooh, how much is this? This is vegetarian, um, like orange chicken. We got it from Costco. Remember, it was so good. Was it? Oh my God, it was so good. Yeah. Let me see how much fat is in there. You want to try it again? Was it hot? No. You want to try it again? If you want to. Okay, let's try it again here. This, that looks good. Y'all, this is so good. I have to let y'all. See, I love these. I take little pieces of these. You do have to put them somewhere so they don't melt, but they are so good. Let's Thank see what they have. Guys. Salted caramel gelato. <gasps> that is dangerous. Why? 25 grams of sugar, that's way too much sugar. Which one, y'all? I'm gonna tell y'all my favorite. Is it Lee? Girl, I'm getting one of these tonight. What I'm is sorry. That? The coffee? Okay, so I've tried these before and I'm just gonna tell y'all. The ones that I got, I did, that I got from um, on a video, I got from Costco are way more better. In the middle of this is like a gel consistency. It reminds you of like a gummy bear texture, but just not as like firm. So I wasn't real crazy about these. I want to tell y'all that. Oh, they have chocolate covered strawberries right here. Let's see what else? I don't see anything else that interests me except for this ice cream. Alright. Dunkers. Pink wheels. I don't see any new things. I've seen some new stuff online where you guys have shared, but I don't see any new stuff. This is tuna burgers, wild caught albacore tuna. Ooh, I bet you that's good. It's 18 grams of protein. 
15. It's only 290 milligrams of sodium. Simply seasoned. It's not all seasoning. I saw some cookies, but they don't have them here. Ooh, y'all, these are so dangerous. <laughs> only 10 grams of sugar. Are you serious? They shouldn't have said that. I'm gonna have to get a treat, y'all, because I'll just eat one. Will we eat them all? <laughs> but you know what? We won't because we know we can't do that. Okay, mommy's good. <laughs> mommy's good. She's like, no, we ain't getting that. Oh, you guys, I fell in love with this. I gotta get some more of these. I don't even have a mess. I'm going to the movies tomorrow, too. I'm gonna get some of this. The cheddar um, popcorn caramel mix. It's really good. Make sure you control your thing. Okay, you guys. Let me bring it back some. That is green. Okay, you guys. Oh, really? Okay, you guys. So, just got back in from Trader Joe's. So, let me show you what I got. Okay, y'all. We got quite a bit here. Y'all, excuse the mess back there. We're still just moving some stuff around. So, I'm going to start with the produce. Well, the cold stuff first. Um, I've been getting a lot of shrimp here lately. It's been so good with salads through the week and um, just with um, just shrimp with just some vegetables. Really, really good. So, I got the cooked large shrimp and the cook large jumbo shrimp they're both deveined with the um tail off so i got two of those one of these and one of these and i still have some left that i got last week okay can y'all put this in the freezer as we go teamwork makes the dream work okay loved these um with some vegetables for lunch um really really good so this is the bean and rice burrito i it just was really tasty not too salty it was really good so got this one bean and rice burrito here take we take this back um also got the multi-grain toaster waffles usually i get the gluten-free ones but i've never tried the multi-grain one so mommy and i got that for us this week um yeah pretty much we eat waffles on the weekend like a special day sunday or saturday so we got that for us tomorrow delicious this is gonna be dinner tonight with some vegetables so this pizza you guys is so good really really do love this pizza so i'm just gonna put it in the freezer until i'm done eating okay i mean until i'm done showing you guys everything that i got I'm trying to get all the cold stuff out the way okay so we got the butter chicken with basmati rice and this is an Indian dish, you guys. It just looks so good. And I'm going to, I think rice comes in it, but I'm going to make some vegetables and mom and I will share this. 21 grams of protein too. So happy about that. That will be nice this week where I don't have to um, worry about cutting on our cooking. Um, this is a polo asado. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. Burrito. It's got tender chicken with black beans, corn, chili, salsa, pepper, jack cheese, rice, and um, flour tortilla. This will be really, really good with, um, it has 14 grams of protein. And how is the sodium? Did I look at the sodium? Sodium 790. So I probably would share this with my mom. This would probably be a snack that we can have and we'll share this. Okay, another thing we got tonight is the Simply Seasoned Tuna Burgers. You guys, that just sounds really good. Um, it's albacore tuna, perfectly seasoned with mild spices. And I just thought getting some, we have avocado because we got some last week. Just with everything that's on there, I just was like, oh, I'm gonna try this. Okay, y'all, so that's the tuna burger. I believe those were $6.99. Okay, the next thing we have here that's cold is, I got some mac and cheese. I've been craving for some mac and cheese. And I said, I'm gonna give me some mac and cheese. And me and mommy will probably share this. I don't have this with dinner with just some vegetables. I don't need um, meat all the time. I'm not really big, gigantic meat eater. But um, if anything, I'll eat chicken. But um, yeah, with this, I'll just have this with just some macaroni and cheese. I mean, macaroni and cheese with just some vegetables. So yeah, excited about that. I've had that before and I really loved it. Okay, you guys, and they didn't have organic broccoli fresh. So mom and I saw this and we were like, ooh, let's try the rainbow organic broccoli. So we're gonna try this this week and really excited about it. It's just really pretty. Really excited about that. We also got the fettuccine Alfredo with grilled chicken. Really, really good. I've had this before. Um, it's 24 grams of protein, 610 milligrams. This will probably take me and mommy two days 
to eat that. And so Joshua does not like cream sauces and cheese. He is not one of those people. So he's not a butter person. He's not a cheese person. He's not a cream sauce person. Y'all, he's boring. But I don't understand how he doesn't like cheese, but he eats cheese pizza. I mean, but he eats pizza. It's the weirdest thing ever. But anyway, we have fettuccine Alfredo grilled chicken. And you guys, this one is so good. You can even add some spinach. Steamed spinach on the side. Oh, it's just so good. Or raw spinach, whatever. But it is really, really good dish. This is chicken, but I'm trying to see. Is this are these just drumsticks? Mm -hmm. Okay, these are all just drumsticks. Trader Joe's drumsticks. Um, Josh will eat these through the week when he's he has like three of them, four of them. Um when we're um he's working out, he wants mm -hmm. high protein. Oh, you got one of these too? Oh, I didn't know that. So I guess Joshua got one. I didn't know. I bought one already. I didn't know. So we got two of these, you guys. <laughs> yeah. And then he got more chow mein. He is in love with his Chinese food, y'all. It is really, really good. But he eats this on the weekend. And sometimes through the week, he takes it to lunch. So we got the chicken chow uh, fried rice. We have the chicken chow mein low fat. Really, really. This stuff is really good. Uh, the chicken chow mein and the beef and broccoli is really good i've tasted it before but i'm not a real beef huge beef person but it's really good also we got the chicken burritos again for him to take for lunch when he's working those long days 12 hour days so we have that um anything else we have i think that's done with that okay now and then you want your milk here to go in okay now let's get to the oh i have my earth balance i forgot i bought this from target tonight I need to put that up. Okay, so we have the organic Brussels sprouts. The little tiny Brussels sprouts. So we have that. We have the baby spinach here. And we have organic kale. Um, we also have organic broccoli florets. And another baby spinach here. I should have brought, I don't like to bring the same thing out twice. So we have all of this. And this is all the produce that we have right now. So that's the kale, two spinach, which we have more spinach in the refrigerator, organic broccoli florets, and the Brussels sprouts. And we go through these vegetables through the week, y'all. It's crazy. Okay, so I did get some cheese because um, a protein is just really, really good when you want a, just a couple of little slices with some whole grain crackers just to keep your protein going up. Cheese is really, really good. So we got that cheese party tray and then bought some strawberries um and i got the um organic this is the organic strawberries and then we got y'all know my favorite apples i gotta get my apples for the week let me just open that i hate that i have to tear that bag but y'all these mb apples are absolutely delicious and these are from new zealand um usually they have the mb apples that are from up north but these ones are um, specifically from New Zealand, so I can't wait to try that. I'm just gonna leave that out. So I got one, two, three, four of those. Um, and then we got the two dozens of eggs there. And then we got, what else do we have? Oh, let me finish this Trader Joe's haul and then we'll go into everything else we got. Okay, and so I got some sweet potato um, chips. These are so delicious, I love the sweet potato chips okay so we got some of those and that's what the ingredients are like in the back if y'all can see that the sweet potato chips are really good i love these tortillas chips they have just a tiny sweet because it's a sweet potato and then got the caramel cheddar popcorn i am going to go see winnie the pooh tomorrow so i'm gonna put this in a little baggie see how what's the um the size amount, um, what is that, 170 calories? What is that, one cup is 30 grams? So y'all, I'm gonna put this in a little bag tomorrow, one cup, and I am taking this to the movies with me. I am so excited about seeing Winnie the Pooh. It came out tonight, but we're gonna go tomorrow. Okay, yes, I know that's Target. I'm trying to get all of, um, um, what you call it. Okay, so we also got the Ritter Sport um joshua loves this uh candy so he got the ritter sport just for something sweet we also got the almond chocolate cashews um for trail mix um 
whenever Joshua is going hiking or whatever. And sometimes I'll take one of these. It is dark chocolate and it's cashews and almonds. So it's really, really good. It's a dark chocolate. Um, another thing I got here was some red pepper flakes. I've been needing some red pepper flakes um, for my cooking, my little meals. I like to add red pepper flakes to it. So this is a red chili flakes. So we also have this, y'all. This is my little treat. You can, uh, it comes off in sections. As you can see, as I'm going here, it's little sections mm -hmm. that I can break off. And this is dark chocolate. And it has, uh, it's 60% cacao. And it has raspberry, dried raspberries in it. You guys, this is so good. If you love dark chocolate and just dried raspberries, like freeze dried raspberry, you would love this. And just a little bit just to get, you know, quench that crave that you have every now and then. Because I love sweets and I have to quench that by getting things that are sectioned off so that I'm able to eat them in little, in, 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 um, little piece, piece by piece. Okay, I did see this on somebody's, um, YouTube page. I forgot. But I saw this, you guys. Goat milk soap. I saw that they also, they didn't have sheep. I was very hurt about that. Well, not hurt, literally. But I was bummed because I was like, oh, where's the sheep one? They have this in goat and in sheep. And I believe this was only $1.99, you guys. It is with olive oil and honey. And it has, it's fragrance free, paraben free, and sulfate free. It's 4.93 ounces. And you guys, it's, um, the goat milk, honey, and olive oil used is the, in this luxurious bar of soap are sourced within a few miles of where the bars are made. Try to keep the bar on a soap dish or tray for the longest life possible. You guys, I love quality soaps like this. And goat milk is really, really good. And I heard that this is really good for the skin. So I can't wait to try it. I want to see what it looks like. In the inside, I just think the packaging is so cute for $1.99. I'm like, really, Trader Joe? Let me open this right quick, y'all. So I'm like, I would, you would think that this would have been at least seven bucks or something. Oh, how cute! Is that not the cutest thing? You see the goat? Oh, y'all, look. Is that not the cutest thing? Do you see the goat? That is, so, and it has no scent. It's a, a perfect. I love it. It has no scent. It's just, oh, I'm so excited about this. So I will let you guys know how that is. But this, you would think that this should be more than $1.99. Okay, so the next thing I got here is the Chunky Salsa, which is really, really good. How much sodium is in there? 170 milligrams of sodium. Just get a little bit at a time. Um, we got some more syrup. I went and got... Um, my Costco card tonight, usually I go to Costco and get a big syrup. So I didn't buy a big one at um, Trader Joe's because the one at Costco is only 10 something um, for a huge one, uh, pure maple syrup. So we got this um, and we also have some of this left in another bottle that we got last week. But we always love to have maple syrup. Um, also got black pepper. Black pepper was needed. Got some avocado oil here. This was $8.99. Actually cheaper than I think even Walmart. But yeah, we got this avocado oil. We got some olive oil, just the extra another one because we do have a big one over there. But I just like to keep olive oil on hand. And then we got this. Is this not the prettiest retro looking jar? Y'all, it's so pretty. Um, it's juice sweetened organic strawberry fruit spread for those who want um, it's calories, uh, 30 calories per serving for those who want peanut butter and jelly. And it's only eight grams of sugar. Um, it's really, really, it's just. I've tasted this before and it's really, really good jam, you guys. It's all natural. All right, the next thing we have here is the frosted shredded wheat cereal. Okay, and then we have Joshua's vanilla almond, which is his favorite. Next thing I bought tonight, I was so excited about seeing this. Y'all want to put the vegetables up? The next, are you sure these look fresh? They look fresh? Oh, okay. Um, the seltzer water, you guys, can you see that from the glare? Yeah. So the seltzer water, and this is in lemon ginger juice. And you guys, I am just so excited about trying this. I'm going to take one. I think the packaging is just darling. And let me let y'all see all the ingredients, which is zero, no sugar, no nothing. It's just seltzer carbonated. Okay. So let's open one of these so y'all can see what it looks like. I'm going to open one of these. 
I love. Oh, they're so pretty. The packaging. I'm so visual and I'm just so like I'm that girly girl. I just love pretty packaging. Like, how pretty is that? Is that not gorgeous? I love it. The packaging is so pretty. I love that. Okay, so that's everything from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do the um what we got from Target real quick. Joshua got this horrible juice that he snuck and got because I do not I do not play. I don't like this. Even though it says 100%, it's just it's way too much sugar. And he's going to take one of these back. He did his own shopping tonight, y'all. So, he would that store, honey, ran out. He knew cuz I would be on him. This is the orange ban strawberry banana. He loves these juices. He's a juice person, him and my sister. They're juice people. Um, and then we got the uh, beef um, smoked kielbasa. He likes this for breakfast in the morning. I'm um, going to find a better sausage though. I told him we're going to upgrade our um, sausage and um, meat. So we're going to have to upgrade from that. But he grew up. I did give him this a lot when he was a kid. So, I mean, you know, single mom, you did the best you can, honey. Make jambalaya. You cut this up, put this in the oven and let it get that nice caramelization, cut it up, throw it in there with some jambalaya, some, sh uh, with the jambalaya, some shrimp, honey, and he just forever in a day loves this sausage just for that reason. <laughs> so anyway, um, the Earth Balance Vegan Butter, I love this butter, I got that tonight. Also, Siggy's, I did get some on sale at Ralph's um, the other day, but you guys, I've never had rhubarb. And I've been wanting to try a strawberry rhubarb pie. Um, so I said, you know what? Let me just taste how this rhubarb tastes. Because it looks like celery. But I heard it tastes nothing like that. So I'm just excited about up in my game on just trying new things. And I have never tried rhubarb before. And I can't wait to try an actual rhubarb strawberry and rhubarb pie. Can't wait for that. So anyway, that right there is something I'm going to try. And this one only has 8 grams of sugar. Yeah, only 8 grams of sugar. I don't know if y'all can see that. So I was happy about that. I'll eat half of that. And then I got this coffee bean ice cream. I want you guys to see that. Not the glare there. You guys, this is the best coffee ice cream. I love this. And I also like Hagen dazs um, coffee brand as well. This one is so good. And so this will last us for a long time. It's one quart so can y'all go figure that that's gonna last us for a long time um all three of us love this um i'll probably have this tomorrow or maybe sunday just a couple of scoops just to uh quench that flavor and just that one that cheat day week so yeah this is so good and that is the coffee bean blast can y'all see that yes so y'all make sure y'all try that next thing last but not least i got some uh, smoked lightly smoked sardines in olive oil love their sardines um, just you know take this I like to have it with a little bit of brown rice and some vegetables sometimes I like to have it with crackers some whole grain crackers I just love sardines not everybody's crazy about sardines but I've always loved sardines ever since I was a kid and this one is really really good so you guys that is everything I got from Trader Joe's the next thing is um, mommy loves this buttermilk complete buttermilk pancake and we add blueberries to it for strawberries you can mix it up and sometimes um when i do eat this i'll eat one pancake if i do and i put cinnamon nut nutmeg and allspice in mine and it gives it like a nice fall flavor i put vanilla in it child i really doctored this up and it really does come out good but mommy makes those fantastic along with her own homemade um um mix Okay, and this is the Almond Breeze. We love the Almond Breeze. So we got that tonight, and that is the original, and 60 calories. And then we also, Mommy went and she got her some Thai tonight. So that's everything we got tonight, you guys. Um, Trader Joe's, like I said, I've been doing a lot of um, looking online to see what new items. I even talked to them tonight, and they were saying a lot of the fall items are coming in end of august and they were saying mid august end of august so make sure you keep your eyes open because we are going to get a lot of fall items coming in um i did see some items that were new online and excuse me that that um oh i taste the ginger already um excuse me for the belch but anyway um yeah 
I saw a lot online, but I didn't see it in the store. I did see the seltzer water. That was one thing that was new. But I didn't see too many new items in the store. They were stocking new things, and I did go a little late in the evening. But um, we're going to see, y'all. Um, I'm going to go to another one and see. But y'all just stay tuned. Trader Joe's is my store, so that's where I do a lot of my shopping. And since I um, noticed that a lot of you guys like the Trader Joe hauls, I'm going to be doing more and more Trader Joe's hauls. Um, to come so y'all stay tuned so thank you so much for watching journey with Shar. i hope you enjoyed this small haul and i'm um, just going out with me and looking inside the store and see for those of you who've never seen an inside of a trader joe's um that's what they look like and there's so many other trader joe's um vlogs online that are at, on youtube that are absolutely awesome um so yeah you guys stay tuned for more to come and thank you so much for watching journey with Shar. if you like my channel like me please hit that subscribe button like please hit the like button you guys um thumbs up and share and also leave a comment i love hearing from you guys um reading your comments and responding back and also if you have a prayer request something you want me to pray for y'all please put it in the um um what is that not the subscribe but what is that in the inbox below and i'll be more than happy to pray with you on whatever it is that you're believing god for and god knows that you're ready for because you know we can pray for some things sometime and god's saying not yet or either no or wait just wait be patient so anyway you guys stay tuned and thank you so much for those of you who are new to my channel and those of you who are oldie but goodies goodies i really do appreciate you thank you guys you guys be blessed and i'll see you soon thank you for watching journey with Shar. Bye-bye. Have a good evening.